Today, the two new players who are facing off in the Freeman's Table board game are Ron Hortman and Joe Lopez. They'll compete against each other, Lady Luck and me, your host and prancing peacock, Matt Freeman. <laughs> peacock. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty funny, my prancing peacock. <laughs> peacock. It had to be done. I, I I even got a visual on that one. Nice. There used to be peacocks in Carrollwood where I lived back in the day, and boy, do they make a sound. Yep. They are. Cool. I've never heard of peacock before. Oh yeah. Like yeah, yeah, it's like a it's like you're uh, shoving a thumb in the butt of a dinosaur. Yep. Oh, that's sorry for the sorry for that graphic. <laughs> 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 All right. That's so. a little much. That's not what happens if you lose, is it? Uh, uh, no. It's it's early. I mean, the game develops as we go along. I don't know. <laughs> this could turn yeah. into a fear factor type of board game. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> all right. If you'd like to see uh, the board game while listening to the podcast, uh, go to freemanstable.com forward slash game. Real uh, creative. You can also download the image uh, on the store page for free. Maybe buy something else so I can afford bird feed since I'm a peacock now. Um, <laughs> let's meet today's contestants. Back on the show is comedian Ron Hortman, my first ever guest on the podcast, which you can check out in episode one of Freeman's Table from back before I turned it into a game show. Ron is a proud husband, father, granddaddy, obviously a lover, and all around fresh some of my bish. He does some of my favorite comedy, and he has a podcast that's getting off the ground called Struggle is Real with Ron Hortman. Be weird if it was called Struggle is Real with someone else. Ron. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's truly a struggle right there. <laughs> Ron, how the heck are you? Freeman, I'm happy to be here, man. Uh, as all competitors say when they come back to somewhere that they've been victorious before, they like to say, this is my house. So I'm just letting Joe know that, that this is my house. Oh. First person ever on the show, I'm about to win. But there was no, vi well, I guess there's a victory in that. There's a, there's an achievement there. You just never yeah. won this game. Well, I'm just letting them know. I'm trying to scare them a little no, bit. No, I like it. Cause, the, cause, the, cause once I get through these introductions, that's what's, that's, I, I open up the floor to you two doing a little bit of that. So uh, on that I, I note. I rushed it. Uh, Ron's opponent, Joe Lopez, is also a husband and father who makes one of my favorite desserts. Joe is a native of Tampa, Florida, whose family has deep roots in the area. He used to be a big-time drag racer, which I didn't know before researching him for this intro. And now he's a skilled baker who makes the best flan I've ever had, which he hears from everyone. Also on the show today is Joe's beard, which is the size of, well, Ron. I'd imagine... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's what we're doing. All right. <laughs> I'm ready. I'd imagine there are times when Joe would like to shave off the beard, but it's the main feature on the Niati Flan logo, the name of his company, so he's stuck with it. Joe, how are you and your face Wookie? I am doing fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Happy to be doing this, for sure. <laughs> Glad to have you. Hey, uh, Ron, did you... Uh, you didn't see his logo, did you? I have not. Okay. I have not seen it. We'll have to show it to you. You have to see it on one of his flans because this, uh, this grub is really delicious. I found it, uh, one morning, I think when I took Lynn Coplets to a radio thing, uh, and he was there, uh, promoting it. He promotes it all over the place. He's, he's a hustler. Um, and it was, it's just delicious. It's, uh, and I've been eating flan since Mexico back in, you know, diapers, and uh, this is just got a little bit more of a custardy, creamy thing than the than the right than the more traditional Mexican version that I always ate. Uh, but just damn good, and he makes all kinds of badass flavors. So, uh, well, what, what what you what you're telling me, he has his beard, so there's a big chance that you can get hair in your food. <laughs> I think no, he, I no, think he, no, 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 no. Listen, he's like, no, don't do, don't do that to my brand. <laughs> don't do that to my brand, man. <laughs> No, he wears. Uh, a, do you wear a net on it? I have to wear. I actually wear two. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. My beard's so big, I gotta hold it with two. It's literally the size of your your head, below your below your head, 
is another thing the size of your head. Yeah. So this man, he double bagging his beard, man. You got to. I got to like, double bag it, man. Yeah. If, if the health inspector comes into a kitchen and there's someone in there with a beard that's the equivalent of somebody's head, you've got to wear the, uh, the face mask. Absolutely. Actually, no matter what, no matter what, unless you're bald, you, know, you have any type of facial hair or hair at all in your head, you got to wear it. Yeah, but I mean, do, if do they put, everybody that has a beard has to wear it? Absolutely. Oh, wow. You know what? I guess I don't remember a whole lot of people in the kitchen with beards because it's so freaking hot. I mean, We're that, at <laughs> yeah, that's the difference. You're not in there with a hot grill and saute and fry and all that going on in a, in a full restaurant kitchen. No, uh, no, we just have commercial bakery. We got ovens going, but yeah. it's pretty cool in here for the most part, to be honest with you. Oh, nice. I got to go check it out and eat the fun directly from the source. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I'd be down. I, I, I'll be there to check him out. I, I, he's closer to you than me, I think. Aren't you in uh, Zephyr Hills, Joe? I'm in Zephyr Hills, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Ron is in. Where are you at, Ron? Ron? Uh, Newport Richie. Yeah, NPR. Okay. I think it'd probably be the same. We're probably in a triangle right now. Uh, yeah. Which is probably why the audio sounds exact. <laughs> that's not how science works. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I was like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the prancing peacock science guy um yeah. so let's move on to that segment uh, aforementioned where you each pitch yourselves to the audience boasting for cheap points to get the listeners rooting for you ron i know you have no problem speaking highly of yourself show joe how it's done would you well thank you matt uh first of all i am a conquistador when it comes to games i don't lose because losing it, I have kids, and if we want this to the street, kids can beat up your kids. I bet you they can. I know it. I wouldn't put money on it. Your kids I'm are a little to... older than his kids. That's not the point, Freeman. That's <laughs> Same size, probably. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's not nice. That's not nice of your host. Uh... It's not. It's not, but I'm putting everything I got into this win. I didn't come here to play games. With him per se, I'm play the game, but not to play games with him. Okay, he's going down. He's going down. Joe, I know you can pitch the hell out of your flan. Can you do the same about your competitive skills, or you just want people to root for your dessert? No, 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 no. I'm pretty competitive, <laughs> Mr. Ron, Mr. Ron Horton. I'm coming out too, man. Guns are blazing. Let's see what we can do. You're talking about not winning. I'm gonna beat you, buddy. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. I like Let's it. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, so gentlemen, we've previously discussed the rules of the game, and the listeners have either heard it already or can see it all on the on the website. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We'll begin by deciding who gets their challenge card first with a roll of two dice. Highest total wins, but neighbors beat highs and doubles beat neighbors. Ron, we'll roll for you first since you're so sensitive. <laughs> Ron, you got a four and a five. Those are neighbors. So that's that's good. That's Four and five is good. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. And he got a five and three, which is a total of eight, but they're not neighbors. So Ron gets the first card. Ron is coming out the gate first. Let's see if he can actually move when we, he does. Oh, trivia. Okay, what do you know? So your first question, Ron. There's a court above the Supreme Court that's known as the highest court in the land. What do judges do there? Uh, can you repeat the question? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's a court above the Supreme Court that's known as the highest court in the land. What do judges do there? Can I phone a friend? You, is you, you're going to call me. You, you already phoned okay. a friend. You're on the phone with <laughs> okay. me. All right. It's not helping. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So there's a court above the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. What do the judges do there? Mm-hmm. They litigate cases. That is that is not what they do there. They do that while they're in the Supreme Court. So I'm going to give you your first hint for two. The possibility of two spaces moved. Fade what? away. So wait a minute. But what did you mean? What do you? That's what judges do. They litigate. Sure, but at the court <laughs> in the court that's above the Supreme Court, they don't do that. The first hint is fade away. Fade away. Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you like this, that if you go to Taco Bell and you get a Taco Supreme, that's the best 
taco that you can get there. So I didn't know there was anything higher than the Supreme Court. <laughs> well, that, so I'm that, totally that, that's sh- because, shocked by this. That's because the highest court in the land is a play on the words from the Supreme Court. Give it a guess, and then we'll give so, you your second hint. They fade away. So they uh, are they playing basketball? They are, sir. There's a basketball court above the Supreme Court. Get the heck out of here! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was designed. It wasn't designed as one. It was built uh, as a storage space. Uh, I think in the late 30s, 1940s, and then someone in like uh, the early 40s turned it into a little tennis court and then it was turned into a basketball court and it's actually a little low so you can't really shoot great three pointers you got to get in closer the second hint would have been tear an achilles which is something that uh, often happens in basketball and justice clarence thomas tore his, hit, tore his against carl tilleman uh, a former pro ball player turned lawyer who was clerking for uh the judge at the time i never knew that it's crazy right uh, hint number three is no such thing as a slam dunk case. So that was play basketball above. Ron, for two spaces, you are moving ahead right out the gate. We are going to pull a card now for uh, Joe the Gangster Lopez. And he gets. That was pretty game. interesting. I never, never knew that. I know, right? This That's one of the fun things about putting the game together is uh, finding out all this crazy trivia, doing research. And now my life, as I read things and look at articles and books and stuff, I go. Oh, that's interesting. I'm writing that down. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Joe, get ready to write down six letters. And in those letters, you will have two vowels. And you will be trying to come up with a word within 10 seconds. And I will start that timer for you after I give you your letters, which are T as in Thomas, A, E as in Eric, R, P as in Patrick, C as in Cat. T A E R P C. All right, I'm going to hit your timer and try to come up with a, seven, your seven, word. Five, Listen to that timer there, Ron. I like it. Remember, I was telling you that dude made it for me. Ace? What do you got? Ace? Ace? A C E. A C E. You got a three letter word which is going to move you. Uh, one space, so you, you both came out the gate on the first try. The last two games, someone sat at the starting line, I believe, for more than a turn. So um, let's pull the next card for Ron Hortman. That's a good start. Ron, Ooh, you got to... I could have came up with a better word than that. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> good good to know we're all in the we're all uh running at the same pace in the same race <laughs> like or cater some food yes there were options oh, there listen there were. to the, have you ever catered a party didn't your business start from catering uh yes and no <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I, I don't know. What, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hear I hear the venom. All right, so uh, Ron, you're you're doing a roll of the dice, and your number is five five three. That's on the high end, so you have to get close to that. You got four fifty one. You hit four five one, and that brought you within a hundred and two. You can move two spaces. And that's your best bet because uh, the only other thing is matching one five, and that would move you one space. So I imagine you want to move two spaces. Of course, uh, yes. And that puts you at the beginning of the bridge. So on your next, on your next go, you're going to have a bridge card instead of a play card. So we move on to Joe, who got another. Any word will do. You got another shot to redeem yourself, sir. All right. This time you're going to have the option of. Uh, eight letters with two vowels. Eight letters, two of them will be vowels, and that is M as in me, N as in no, J, V as in Victor, L, A, G as in George, E. M, N, J, V, L, A, G, E. All right, so let's start your timer and see what you come up with. How many think he gets there, uh, Ron? Or do you think he makes uh, up a word? I, I, 
He's going to go with uh, three letters. His name is Joe, and he likes to stick with three letters. Okay. Joe, you sticking it three letters, or what, what did you come up with? Or are you going to drag it out and pretend that you have uh, audio difficulties while you pick a bigger name? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag it out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lane. The only thing that comes with this. Lane, like L-A-N-E. Yeah. It's tougher when it's on the spot. When it's uh, it when you, you got to do it quick, L A N E. So that moves you two spaces, one two. You are one behind the bridge, and let's see uh, now what the first bridge card does for Ron Hortman, and that is congratulations, player. You pulled the only five space bridge card crossing without incident. You lucky bastard. All right, so you move to the other oh. side of the bridge, and uh, okay. you're All in right. a good position, and you didn't have to do really anything. So now we're back to Joe. Who? Oh, <laughs> all right. So here's here's this thing. You actually got the first jump to feature card, Joe. So all right. Uh, that can either be, which is what you're going to want to do. Uh, it, it moves you into the bridge, but you can also keep or pass this card. If you pass this card, that moves Ron Horton Hortman one, two, three, four, five spaces ahead. I, I don't think you're going to want to pass this card onto him, right? Absolutely not. So. You just move one space to the beginning of the bridge, and we will pull your card on your next turn. I want you to know that was pretty selfish of you too, Joe. <laughs> just put that out there. <laughs> it was selfish, uh, and I helped. Uh, you get another roll of the dice, Mr. Hortman. And all right, all right. The number. Hey, shake, shake them, man, shake them. All right, and then the number you're going for is 544, not far off from the last one, 544. So better if you get in the middle range, but but you hear that? I hear it. You got 235. That is not what you wanted to do because you are outside of uh, uh, 309 away from the points, but you did get a five, which matches, and that moves you one space forward. So you are... Moving ahead, and we are pulling another bridge card for Joe. Not bad, player. You pulled a three-space bridge card crossing, but stepping on a rusty nail, which is a whiskey drink, you cut your foot on. <laughs> uh, tetanus shot. Yep. So he goes one, two, and three. And now we're pulling. So you are now uh, one, two, three spaces behind Ron. So not bad. You guys are moving across the board quite briskly. The next card that we pull is a... I'm coming for you, Ron. I'm coming for you. Yeah, because he's got now another trivia. Another trivia for Ron Hortman. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if how you do with this one. What is the official drink of Kentucky? <laughs> a little timer to put the pressure on. What is the official drink of Kentucky? It's not bourbon. Is your first guess bourbon? My guess is bourbon. It is not bourbon. Uh, so you're going to get your first hint. You can make cocktails with it. Whiskey. Let's call those the same thing. Let's okay. call whiskey right. and, and bourbon the same thing. Uh, so, oh. no, it's not that. Now, there is a difference between bourbon and whiskey. That's but, what I thought. But, but the, the reality is they're the same. It's just if one is made... I guess they're not exactly the same. There's a ton of people that would hear that and go, you idiot, they're not the same. But I think it's regional. It's the same thing, but if if it's bourbon, it has to be made, uh, I believe, in Kentucky or in Tennessee or, or something like that. But no, uh, it's not whiskey or bourbon. Okay, and you can make cocktails with it. Uh, I'm not really a cocktail drinker, but let's say... Uh... Uh, Coke. It's not Coke. All right. Your second hint is it has several imitation versions. Lots of things try to imitate this official drink of Kentucky for two spaces Mm. moved. And then you have one more hint. And if you don't get it, then Joe gets a shot at it. Is it Sprite? It is not Sprite. So now I'm giving you hint number three. And it's for no spaces moved, so you're basically playing defense now. The official drink of Kentucky, uh, a popular marketing campaign, desperately wanted to know if you got any. 
make milk. Yes, sir. The answer is milk. <laughs> what? So you don't move milk. But yep. But at least I know that's a, that's I love that's the reason what? I love this because you automatically are going to think it's whiskey or bourbon. Who puts milk in cocktails? Uh, actually, uh, this refers to cocktails such as a white Russian, brandy Alexander, and a milk and honey. And nowadays, mixologists make those are standard old school drinks that have been around forever. But now these people are putting mixologists, they call themselves, are putting milk and eggs. And there's just they basically bring the whole kitchen out to the bar and go, what can I do with these drinks? I'm lit in glass. Disgusting. Milk. I would have never guessed milk. I would have lost on that one. Yep. So now uh, you played good defense, didn't move, and we are pulling a card for Joe. And he gets a roll of the dice. Your number, Joe, is 216. And you rolled a two. Shut up. You rolled a 216. <laughs> Get out of here. There's some cheating going on now. Look, man, I'll take a picture of this with the phone and send it to you. This, this is ridiculous, man. First of all, you telling me people making drinks with milk, now he rolling the same thing that you pick. We're going to Vegas, Matt. <laughs> That's pretty good because you I mean that you you can't hit more dead on. You got all three exact and exact. Yeah, you should get to move six spaces. But you don't This is, this move, is crazy. It, it was like he was rolling. Now all of a sudden, now, now you, all of the rolls are coming in for him. I'm calling Rudy Giuliani. I'm yeah. calling him right now. <laughs> Having to reverse everything. <laughs> everything. So you guys are on this. Everything. You guys are tied. You're at the exact same space on that curve. Uh, I love that. And this opens up the door from in the future. I'm going to make it. If you hit exactly the number, it'll move you four spaces. It's got to. So you guys are in the same spot, and we are pulling a card now for. Uh, R A H N, Ron Horman. Okay, let's do it. It's a roll of the dice, and he is getting a number, uh, six three five. So not as great, uh, because way up there. But let's see if you can hit it. Six four six. That's not bad. Six four six still moves you uh three spaces. I was about to say he rolled a two sixteen. <laughs> Uh, there's still luck in being that high a number and then rolling that high, but yeah, two sixteen's dead on. Uh, so he moved three spaces ahead. You're one space from the water. Okay. All right. Joe Lopez, any word will do six letters, three vowels. And your six letters are going to be a I N is in Nancy E G R a I N E GR and your clock starts now. Well, I got one right away. Can you stop the timer? What is it? It better not be what I think it is. I got earring. You do have earring. That's a pretty number Heck yeah. right there. That ah. is very pretty. One, two, three. You guys are neck and neck. I like that. Put the mic in getting all these word or word or word will do. Wait, 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 wait. You can use the same letter twice? No. You know. You didn't need the same well, how letter. Did you get, how, how did you spell earring? E-A-R-I-N-G. It ain't two R's in earring? Nope. You just have so many R's in your family that you're used to having extra R's in words. He needs the word will do, man. Not me. No, listen. <laughs> <laughs> earring has to have two R's in it. No, friend. I play a, a word game on my phone all the time where, where you search for words. And, uh, I, you, I demand, uh, have you, uh, have you been saying, have you been a spelling? Recount. You demand a recount? Yeah. Cause how can, how can it not have two R's in it? Oh yeah. It's two R's. My bad. You got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. It is wrong. Oh, good call. It to, yeah. Listen, no, I automatically visualized I'm, it as one R my bad. I was fifth grade spelling bee champ, buddy. All right. So you're not just going to slide a non double R in there on me when I know it's supposed to be a double R. I was terrible in school, but I fancy myself a decent speller in my uh, advanced years. And so this kind of hurts me a little. It stings me a little to be going because because I can picture people going, what an idiot. 
on the side I'm of Ron Hol- Horton. Not, <laughs> yeah. not, Matt, not, you don't have to worry about that because now they're going to just be thinking that about me. So you're good. <laughs> no, but see, it's one thing. It's one thing to be on your end where you're sitting there figuring it out, and then me going, "Nah, now nah, I got a PC sitting in front of me. I can Google it, and I'm saying it with confidence." No, Ron, I play a word game. <laughs> <laughs> no ron there's no way you're right since i do a word game and i'm really good at it <laughs> this really hurts this definitely did not feel good <laughs> all right now i wondered if you can if you can really read the dice now it wasn't really a 216 hmm. it could have been a 912 so now we have to question my entire <laughs> It's like being a cop who gets busted for doing terrible things, and now everybody gets to leave just because he messed up one case. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you get a roll of the dice plus one space, Joe. So whatever your score is, you get to add one. Wait, why? Because that's what the card says. Say that that again. The word was wrong. Oh, wait, hold up. That's right. I'm (laughs) putting... Oh my God! Listen, I don't know what's going on here today. Okay, you're right. All right. I think I've been set up. All right, let me let, let's let's catch back up. I have to move him back three, and it's not his turn. It's your turn, Ron. Like, see, listen, you, you I, know, I, you think a guy's your friend, right? And you know, I'm not saying I wanted some special treatment, but you know, if it had to go to replay, I would expect that. You know, I'll get some. Well, you know, this he is my guy. Uh, mm-hmm. But no, no. downright yeah. flagrant. No, I think what's, e- what's even worse is you think this guy's half professional and has been working on this and trying to, you know, make it work. And here I am, like, action after action, really screwing the pooch. Yeah. Am, am I, are we allowed to, like, fact check this stuff to verify? Sure. I hope you're not. I hope you're not going to go check to, and see to, if earring is spelled wrong. Yeah, no, because I already did that. That's how I confirmed it. I was because I there was a little niggle. I was like, "Is it possible that that it's?" And I checked, and yeah, and it said, "Did you mean to spell it with two R's, you ding dong?" <laughs> 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 Just like that, it said. <laughs> no, I was with the letters you you had given him. I was like, I know what he better not spell because if you look at those letters. It could totally go a different way in this climate. Yeah. Oh my God! He came up. With, yeah, he came up you with earring. Have, you could have spelled honky. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, what I what I was thinking is the other option you have, Joe, in a scenario like that is if you had some funny explanation for why it only had one R, that would have been something. Because you, but you would have had to start that way. All right. So let's let's. Hey, I, Hey, you know yeah. what? Mm-hmm. Go to Miriam Webster and look up earring with one arm. And what's it mean? Oh my God! What's it mean? Yeah, yeah. What's it mean? A line, a line used to fasten a corner of a sail to the yard or gaff, or to haul a reef single to the yard. What does any of that mean in English? Something it's that has to do with a sailboat. I have no idea. It's nautical. A rope attached to a cringle and used for bending a corner of a sail to a yard, boom, or gaff, or for for reefing a sail. Now, what what I don't appreciate is this is the third thing in this same go in which I look like a complete ding dong because I listened to Google. Well, listen, I don't no. When there's you, no more listening. What, <laughs> no, no, listen. If, if he if he was using earring in a sentence, he would not have said any of those things. And that definition. But the, so game, does, how the it, game does not require you to know the definition of your original word, though. The, it only requires you to know the definition of a made-up word, which is a definition you make up. But what word was he spelling? He was spelling earrings that you put in the ear. Now, if he would have said it's an earring for somebody who got their they ear bit off by a pit bull, so they only got one R because they got one <laughs> ear, I would let that slide. But no, see, he go into some, some no, but cre- did, What is a kringle? A what? A kringle. What's a kringle? It's a kringle with a bite taken out. <laughs> oh my god! You know what? A <laughs> ring <laughs> of rope formed in the edge of a sail and containing a thimble for another rope to pass through it. Now, don't you know what that is? It's basically a rivet. Oh my god! You know what? Let him have it. 
No, I, I'm it, still going to win. It's not, a, it's not, you, you're not giving it to him. He got it. <laughs> 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 but you, Ron, still get a roll of the dice plus one. So okay. let's, let's do that. All right. And, and uh, your number is uh, five, six, four. Your number is five, six, four. And here we go rolling for you. And you got five, five, six. Five, five, six puts you within eight, which is real good. So that automatically moves you three spaces. And it also means four because you got the plus one. One, two, three, four. Man, I'm glad we moved moved on from that. I'll probably edit most of the part that makes me seem like a complete ding dong. I think no, I'll I'm say a, leave it. The people need to know. No, I'm, I know. <laughs> it really, it really is. People do need to. But it's episode 21, so I think the case has already been made for me being a complete, <laughs> complete ding dong. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's good. <laughs> okay, so, so where where is Ron and where am I on the board? He's one away from the sand and you're one away from the from the water and you are three Man. spaces uh apart. One it, two, can you three, fall in the water? Four. four spaces. There are things that can happen to you in the water. But guess what, uh, what card I just pulled for uh Mr. Lopez? He's in the water. No, it says any word will do. So he might oh, end up goodness. in the water. <laughs> Because uh, he could, he could. Uh, I don't think there's a way for him to move one space. Is there? It's yeah, all right, there man. Is. I'm Cuban. I can. It's all right, man. I'm Cuban. I can swim. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. You better be able to. Yep. <laughs> it's not a matter of competition. It's a matter of survival. Yep. All right, and you are getting. I like the. Re- uh-huh. The record to reflect that he said that, and I just laughed along with him. Right. All right. <laughs> no harm done, I don't think. We're not getting canceled today, although it's still early. Uh, so seven <laughs> letters, three of them will be, be vowels, and your letters are Y-O-L-K-U-E-L. And your timer begins now. Oh, my goodness. So you got Y O L K U E L. What do you think, Ron? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give him a, a four letters. My, uh, yeah, I can imagine because I can see the four. Letters. <laughs> yeah, there's one really. That's all I got is four letters. Yeah, and and I think Ron and I can probably guess what the what it is. Yeah. Exactly what the first four letters are. <laughs> Yoke. Yoke. He don't waste no time. <laughs> so, Ron, uh, uh, Joe called me last night because uh, my Facebook page, my name on there is Ostrich Negotiator. And all the time that I've been on there as that name, he's th- he thought I was an ostrich guy, ostrich farmer in Texas. <laughs> That he buys ostrich eggs from. <laughs> True story. And he thought, story. And I commented something about playing today, and he's like, "Oh, this is Matt." <laughs> this whole time, I thought this guy that actually raises ostriches in Texas had sought me out, found me, and friended me on Facebook, and I find out that it's Matt like a year later. <laughs> Oh, I loved it. I was like, what are you? He goes, why are you called ostrich negotiator? I was like, it's a play on hostage negotiator. He was about to send you some cash app with some eggs, man. Well, he, yep. he said he was going to send me a message and say, hey, when the springtime comes around, I'm going to need an order of 10 or 12 eggs. And I would have been like, what does he need from me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who am, I pulling, who am I pulling for now? This is Ron. Ron's turn. Wait a minute. People eat ostrich eggs. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, they eat, they, they're and they're huge, right? They're roughly around uh, what is it, two dozen eggs, I think, roughly. And and how how big is the egg when it gets to you? Uh, maybe the size of a like grapefruit. Maybe like a small Nerf football, like a Nerf football, yeah. roughly. Oh my god! Yeah, Ron. They, yeah. They, and this dude wants to make his flan with all kinds of crazy. St- he was telling me he wanted to make a flan that cost fifty thousand dollars. Isn't that what you were saying? 
Yes, sir. Yeah, made out of what? Well, let's keep that in the wraps for now. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> and what, so, and people going to eat it? Yeah. Absolutely. And it costs $50,000? Why not? Yeah. There's got, they got desserts out there that cost $100,000. For real? And people can't, people sit around and, and I mean, they're sold before they're even made. Yep. You got some, you got some people out there, man, that really want to spend some extra money on, on whatever they can find. Trust me. It's you, crazy. They want to blow it because they have it to right. blow. And uh, no, they'll put gold in it. You know how gold slogger has gold? Gold is edible. Um, yep. And they put gold in it. They use crazy, like again, milk, milk that can come from uh, a goat in the Himalayas. Yeah. You know? Wait, 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 wait. People yeah. eat gold. Yeah, man. You That's haven't what, had a shot of gold slogger? Gold slogger has real flakes of gold in it. Oh, my God. Rappers must not know about this yet. <laughs> <laughs> Rappers cannot know that people have walk you, around eating gold. Well, Ron, they probably have you eat their teeth episode? a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm hungry. I'm just going to eat this too. <laughs> whenever, oh. Ron, whenever you guys get a chance, look up. You talk about the rapper 2 Chains. Look uh, at this ep- look at the episodes of the foods this guy does, man, around the world. It is craziness. Oh, for real? Yeah, he Who goes out and finds like the most expensive food, the most expensive weed, the most expensive everything and just eats it or smokes it or whatever. It's huh. it's, such, it's crazy. Cool. Yeah, I got to check that out, see what it is. Uh, Ron, the the card I just pulled for you is a jump to feature card. So, All right. What so does that mean? That means you jump one space forward into the sand and on your next go, uh, you would pull a sand card, or you can pass this on to to Joe, and he jumps one space uh, ahead of you in his next turn, and you can pull another card and see if you want to get more spaces than that. You know what? I think I'll keep my card. Okay, so you're moving into the sand, and now we'll pull a card for him, and on the next one we'll pull for you a sand card. All right. And see if that was a good decision. Guess what you got, Joe? What did I get? Another word will do. <laughs> Eight letters, four vowels. <laughs> Come on, man. Eight letters, four vowels. This, this, game, is, this game is rigged. It, it's rigged to be hilarious. And it's definitely that. <laughs> All right. So here, here's your letters. They're going to be R, O, N is in Nancy, A, S is in Sam, P is in P, E, A. And that P is in P is in Patrick. Yeah. Like he said P is in P. Okay. <laughs> All right. P- say, say the letters one more time. R-O-N-A-S-P-E-A. So Ryan, Oscar, Nancy, Adam, Sam, Patrick, Eric, Adam. Okay. So we're going to start your timer and see what you come up with, whether it's a made-up crazy word that you sell to me and move four spaces or something else. I can't believe how... Uh, Ron, you haven't played a single any word will do, have you? Not, not a single one. Good gravy. And you're not playing one on the next one because you're pulling a sand card? He, he get 216. He rolls 216. <laughs> he get every word... Uh, and there, something's wrong with this game, Freeman. You're you're three spaces ahead of him. Oh, you want to swatch? Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> you want to swatch swap what? spaces and and get his uh, two sixteen now? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just that you know I'm I'm persevering, but it's just the fact that I have to go through this mm-hmm. unfair treatment like, to so, get to where I'm getting. Yeah, against all odds, you're still ahead. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Story like of my said, life. Yeah, it's the it's these times, these trying times. I, I can only come up with one word other than Ron, and I'm going to go with apnea. Apnea. Like sleep apnea, sleep which I got. apnea. A-P-N-E-A is a five-letter word. That's pretty and, good. Yep, yeah, that's a good one. And so that moves him uh, three spaces to be right on top of you. One, two, three. Man, you guys are as even as anyone's been in three whole games. Uh, so we're going to pull. Hey, hey. Yes, do, sir. Do you sleep with the thing on? The sleep you know, thing. I, I used to, man. I used to look. I I used to go to sleep. Had amazing dreams. I thought I was like Maverick on Top Gun every night, man. Let me tell you. You stopped wearing it. I did. I stopped wearing it because I actually went all seriousness. I went and had um had to go get retested. And during COVID, man, the craziest thing. I went to this place, the only sleep apnea place 
actually between you and me and Wesley Chapel. And this place really looked like the worst motel room of 1968 that you've ever walked into. Uh, it really, I mean, I felt like I had to, you know, you didn't sleep with my gun on my side or something, man. <laughs> it was crazy. It, it really was. I felt so uncomfortable. And the lady said, oh, you slept, with, you slept perfectly fine. No sleep apnea. You, you did it with flying colors. I was like, I am really surprised I even slept. Wow. Yeah. You probably sat on a needle and you got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> That's very possible. You probably shot yourself up with heroin and don't know it. <laughs> I, I still have my kidneys. At least I think so. So we're good. <laughs> oh, yeah. They didn't take any organs then. No. So the good question, for you. So go there or don't go there? Hell no. <laughs> so, yeah, Ron, you just started wearing it, right, recently? Well, yeah, yeah, that's why I asked. I'm, I'm supposed to wear it, but I haven't been wearing it lately because I said, listen, man, I'm wearing a mask all day right. out and about, and then I'm not going home and sleeping in a mask, too. I can't do it. Yeah, and, well, uh, around the clock mask is a little much. Yeah, I can't do it, man. So maybe when this whole thing is over, I might I might go back to it. Or, or you know, I can lose a little weight. You know how I probably get away with it a lot and sleep better is just bulking up on pillows, like sleep at a really high angle. Oh, yeah. I do that's that when what, I get that's what uh, I heartburn. Do. Yeah, because honestly, man, with, if, uh, I, I don't have sleep apnea issues anymore. I can tell. I don't know what happened or what changed. The flan. Because I'm still – maybe. <laughs> that's possible. <laughs> that's possible. But, I, I mean, I used to wake up and just be super tired no matter what time of the day it was or whatever. But, uh, you know, I would wear the mask and I honestly felt much better for, you know, when I was using it. Uh, it's just too much. Ron, on uh, on 30 Rock, uh, Tracy Jordan, Tracy Morgan's character, they tell him that uh, with diet and exercise, he can fix his whole situation, right? And he goes, well, we tried. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we're pulling a sand card first for Ron. You're both on the sand, and so we'll see what happens with you. Oh, no, player. You stepped in quicksand that warps you back one space. Play card determines your next move. Get, get the hell out of here. It's a, it's a back-and-forth game, my friend. So now we're pulling a, a, a <laughs> we're, we're pulling a card for Mr. Joe Lopez, not bad player. You stepped in quicksand, but you were saved from sinking by something I didn't spend time making up. Lose a turn. Play card determines your next move. So, okay. So back to Ron. Ron, we're pulling. Okay. A, All right. We're pulling a play card. Roll of the dice. You've had that before. <laughs> your number. Time or two. Your number is two six four two six four. Here we go. And you got six six six. That is... Whoa. Ah, <laughs> I'm out. Ah. All right. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, Joe was ahead at the time. And uh... <laughs> all right. So that moves you one space forward because you did have a six in your number. And you didn't have to depend fully on that completely insignificant number in all, all reality. So now we're pulling a card for uh, Joe... And it's a roll of the dice himself minus one space. So whatever, oh. so whatever your total is, we will we will remove. And the number you are going for is uh, three five three. That's the number you're trying to hit, close to okay. or dead on. Holy crap! <laughs> you better stop it. Three five one. What? So you know, I'm not going to complain because this is you know I'm not going to complain here. Because I, no, I'm not gonna complain. But if I was Ron, I might complain a little bit. Because it's a setup. You feel it. I feel it. Everybody <laughs> see it. Now hold on. <laughs> Something's not. Now, hold on right. a second. Are you guys throwing my democracy into the into the garbage? You have to trust the democratic approach I'm taking to this game. You don't want to believe that there's any fraud in any of the process that people are creating uh, outcomes that aren't legitimate. <laughs> oh, hey, Matt, 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 are you, just between me and you, are you enjoying the flans I sent you before the game? Uh, 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 I don't know what you're talking about, sir. <laughs> sir, I, I have All no I'm... recollection of, of that event. <laughs> 
<laughs> all, all I'm saying is Freeman's table has an under the table section, and I'm seeing it happen today. I just uh, I, I really take offense to you guys believing that I the the, <laughs> the most uh, above the board guy that you're gonna find would even entertain the idea. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go play the lotto when I get out of here. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> so what So what happened there is you got three points, minus one, moved you two spaces. So you're two spaces right. ahead. And now, Ron, your card is a trivia. There seems to be a pattern in all of this. Yes, yeah, there is. Ron Hortman, <laughs> for another good time fit finding out if you know this particular fact, what is the sixth largest country in terms of land mass. Sixth largest country? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, social studies question from fifth grade. Uh, it's not the first time you went back to fifth grade. Yeah, fifth grade was a good year for me, man. I, uh, I peaked early. Uh, I did not like fifth grade. I, it was a, kind of a nightmare. I found myself in fifth grade, you know. It was 18 years. Uh, B.A. Baracus, mm-hmm. Michael Jackson was popping. Uh, it, was, it was a good year, man. I was still trying to learn English. Is that what this is about? Is this why I'm being <laughs> cheated? <laughs> what is the sixth largest country in terms of land mass? United States. No, not the United States. It is a pretty big one, the old United States. And uh... who would know this? Like, who. Who was that like, hey, we so proud, we the sixth largest country <laughs> in the world. Who would know this kind of stuff? Like <laughs> so the, we came in six. <laughs> the United States is the third largest. Okay. So it's small smaller than us. All right. Yeah, smaller than us. Uh uh, so uh you that was your first guess. So for your first hint for two spaces moved. This country is currently in a dispute with the fourth largest country for rights to the sea between them. So the fourth largest country is trying to claim the rights to the sea in between them. And this sixth largest country is like, uh-uh, uh-uh, it's not yours. The, right to the, the fourth sea. largest country, good God, they uh, they don't listen to people. Who doesn't listen to people? The sixth largest one don't? The fourth largest. You said the fourth largest don't listen to anybody. And, and the sixth largest oh. is like, this sea between us does not belong to you. It belongs to partly to us and all the other islands in between us. Okay, so now it's an island. Islands, which are also countries. But I'm terrible at everything, including geography. Uh, let's see. Uh... Joe, do you have any idea what this is? I don't know. I don't have guess. a guess. I have a guess. I, I think so. I mean, you can blur it out if you'd like, but yeah, uh, right. well, give give us a so, guess. Okay, give give me the hint one more time. Okay, give me the hint well, one more time. Uh, currently in a dispute, this the sixth largest country is currently in a dispute with the fourth largest country for rights to the sea between them. The sea between them. Do you want to move on to your next hint uh, for one space no, moved? No, 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 no. I, dang it! I mean, I want to say guess. all right. Definitely. I want to say all right. I'm going to say uh, Korea. No, I don't think there's a sea. Dang it. Is there a sea between China and Korea? I think they're attached. I think they are. Yeah. Um. Oh, I just said. <laughs> All right. So your hint number two for one space moved. One of the citizens of this fourth largest country is a YouTube star who hilariously reviews viral videos, including a series titled Destination Eft. And I only said "eft" instead of what it's actually called because you like to do clean comedy. I've never heard of it, but uh, China. China was the previous hint. Was the fourth largest country. You didn't say that, did you? No, he didn't. No. No, but I'm just I'm telling you now that's not the correct answer. So we're going to hint number three. <laughs> <laughs> so now that should help you, though. Now that you know that China is the fourth largest. You have the first hint. Now you had the second hint. And the third, the third hint for no points moved but to play defense is it is also known as a British Texas. This country is known as a British Texas. What the heck? Uh, I think 
I think I know it, Ron. You better get it. Uh, Ireland. No, but I would imagine that would be fit, fitting too for British Texas. So you didn't get it, and uh, we're going to give uh, Joe a chance to move forward one space. The only guess that I have is Australia. That is correct, sir. Woohoo! So, British Texas. British Texas. Currently in a dispute with the fourth largest country for rights to the sea between them refers to the South China Sea, which China is treating like Israel treats the West Bank. <laughs> I didn't know they was beefing over that. Yep. I, didn't, I didn't either. Yeah, China's building uh, man-made islands on which they're putting military posts and such, which they say are not military. And of course, you know, but uh, the rest of the world is saying, you can't do that. And they're like, yeah, wh who's going to come stop us? And then Aussie Man Reviews, which you guys should check out because he's hilarious, is the uh, comedian Ethan Morell. He reviews YouTube videos and they are hilarious. Also known as a British Texas. I didn't know that until I started r researching it. It uh, makes a ton of sense and has the added bonus of being funny. Australia has less guns, but more poisonous everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. oh, that's funny. So, uh, Ron, you're still sitting in the sand. Joe, you're moving one space forward, which I did for you already, right? Yeah, moved you to the curve. So you're in the curve. How many spaces ahead of me is he? Uh, three. Probably not far, not far along enough if he keeps giving me this word or do thingy. And you just got one. <laughs> Six and one. Six letters, one, one vowel. Here you go. Are you serious? Are you serious? One? Yeah. Yep. All right. Wow. <laughs> what do you, it's that's it. Wow. That, <laughs> hey, I'm going to add I'm going to add more um uh, uh games so that there's more variety. Uh but yeah, no, that's what it is I, now. I've never I, I've I'm just amazed, seen I'm this. just amazed that I keep getting the same thing. That's, I'm, well, just, that's saying, the I'm thing. just amazed. He's that. getting all the trivia. You're both getting dice cuz there's more dice than anything and you're getting all of the uh any word will do's. That's nutty. It it also changes based on who lands on the feature and if they move forward or not. And so yeah, pretty crazy. In other in other languages, they call it cheating. You know, <laughs> that are nutty. We yeah, both speak Spanish. What do they call it in Spanish? Como se, uh, privilege. Como, como, se, privilege. como se dice cheating? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I know it as trampa or tramposo if you're a cheater. Right. Pero que, que, como se dice? No me acuerdo. Tramposo, right? Yeah, I guess that's. I, I just I know that oftentimes between Cuba and uh, uh, Puerto Rico and Mexico, the names change or the words change oh. dramatically. Oh yeah, heck yeah! Everybody's got their own dialect for sure. Mm -hmm. What is going on outside of my window? I think a, a helicopter is landing in the front yard. He just. He just door dashed you one of those fifty thousand dollars flaws. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, we're giving Joe now his six letters with one vowel, and that is G, R, H, O, M, T. Gary, Robert, Harry, O, Matt, Thomas. And your timer begins now. All right. Let's find out what Joe has. I can only come up with four. T-H-O-R. That's what happens when, when uh, Mike Tyson hurts his thumb. He says it's Thor. <laughs> My, I'm so Thor. <laughs> My thumb is Thor. <laughs> uh, there, there's no H. There is an H. Third letter was H, right? Yeah. G-R-H-O-M-T. Oh, I thought it said G-R-T-O-N-T. I'm sorry. No, H as in Harry. Uh, and so, okay. um, but what is Thor? That's a character. Yeah, Marvel Comics, I think. Can Marvel we, can, or the other one. Can, one, can one we one use Thor as a word in, in, this, in this type of game? No, that's a proper noun. That's, uh, that's illegal in the rule. Yeah, it's not, I don't think that's a real word. So we can't get... get Thor? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a character. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, in the in the game which shall not be named, I, I don't think it's allowed it's not allowed. 
So it, it it's either a made up word or it's got to be allowed in that other game that that I don't name, but we know which one I'm talking about. That sounds like babble. <laughs> 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 Ron, you got to get off this space here. <laughs> and I'm pulling for you a, a roll of the stinking dice. I want you to have an any word will do. Me too. Uh, <laughs> know, right? All right. So your, your number is going to be 146. And we're rolling for All you right. now. That's doable. 326. 326 gives you either one space moved or you can move two spaces. And where am I? Give me two spaces. <laughs> yeah, I already did. <laughs> so now you're just one space. <laughs> you're one space back from him. And he is one, two, three, four exact spaces away from the winner's circle. And you are five exact spaces away from the winner's circle. Whoa. So we're coming to the end here. And now, Joe, we're pulling uh, a card for you. And it is uh, any word will do six and two. Now you can oh, hold on. You can keep or pass and pull again. What do you prefer to do? So what if I pass? If what, you, what happens if then? you pass? Uh, I'm going to pull another card for you, and we'll see if it's a dice game, a word game, or trivia. And uh, he has this card, which is an any word will do on his next turn. All right. Yes. Let's do that. Let's give him any word will do. Okay. Sounds like you'll probably ace that, but that's all right. Let's do it. I want to do something different. I'm, I'm glad you did it. I, no one's ever used the pass uh, component of that, and you got any word will do. Oh, my. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. That's ridiculous. I should have paid more attention, man. I should have paid more attention in class. Oh. You're going to um, spell the day. Yeah. You're going to spell the day. <laughs> All right, seven three. Seven three is your uh doohickey. We're gonna give you your letters now, and they are O W U E G V is in Victor, C is in Cat. O W U E as in Eric, G is in Gary, V is in Victor, C is in Cat. Uh, um, so let's okay. go ahead and start his timer and see what he ends up with. Maybe he's already got something. Now remember, you're trying to move four spaces, so if you uh, made one up and it was allowed, then it would put you right in there, or you would just move a little closer. Ooh, I got, I got one. What is your word? Vogue? V-O-V-U-E. Hopefully that's right. <laughs> Vogue, yeah. Yeah. That's five. That's five. Uh, five doohickeys. So you move three spaces. One, two, three, and you have now whatever you do next. It's got to give you a score of one. So that's what you're trying to hit from now on is a score of one because you're one space away from the winner's circle. Now we're pulling. Okay. Now we we know exactly what Ron is getting because you passed on that any word will do card, and he's getting finally six and two. So Ron Hortman, your letters. For six and two are I, L as in Larry, N as in Nancy, K as in Catherine with a K, and C as in Catherine with a C, and E as in Eric. And your timer begins now. What do you think, Joe? His first crack at it? What's he coming out with? Four letters back. Four letters max for for Ron Hortman. Ron Hortman, how many letters are in the word that you have come up with, and is it real or imagined? Uh it's uh, real. Uh... Real fake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What What is your word? Uh it's, it's linksy. Linksy. Okay, so you made that up. What's it supposed to mean? Uh linksy means when uh when you link up with uh, one of your friends you ain't seen in a while. And in what way does it make that word when you haven't seen them in a while? Because you link see. Because I ain't seen you, and we just link, so now I link see. And that's L-I-N-K-C-E. Why, why is it spelled C-E, though, when if I was looking at the word L-I-N-K-C-E, I don't think I would say link see. Well, because you, you can't say it properly with, without that. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> you have to say link see. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's that's your argument is that I have to say link seed, and this is something that I'm hooking up with my friends. You're, you're link you're linking up with your friends that you haven't seen in a while. And you say link seed. You see what I'm saying? Link seed. Links. Yeah. Not, that, to me, that looks like links. No, no, no. It's link C. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you said so. You gotta, right? you, not because it makes sense. It, it's, no, it, it does make sense. If I ain't seen you in a while and we both said link C, everybody else starts saying it. I'm telling you. Link C. See, no, I, I'd either want to see that with an IE or an EY or a Y. It's a, it's a, it's a different type of C after the K. Because people are used to the C before the K, but after a after a K, a C sounds like a soft C, like C, link C. Hmm. Everybody knows that, Freeman. Not everybody. Everybody We've established that. that I don't know that because I don't know anything, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we're depending on me to make decisions. If it does, if you're saying that the C changes because it's after K, of course. You can't have a K and a C together and have the same sound because that means that the C would have to go in front of the K. But after the K, the C becomes a soft C, kind of like I before E except after C. So link C. And if some, so basically this is a word that is, is one that I won't like, but I will accept. Yes. You would accept it because you'll be happy whenever you're using the word because you're seeing somebody you ain't seen in a long time. You're linking up. Where are you link going? C. Where are you going tonight? I got a link C with homie. See? Exactly. All right. So he's moving four ahead. One, two, three, four. That puts you on top of Joe. Top of Joe, Papa Joe. You know what I like about this whole thing is the fact how well he argued about that. Mm -hmm. That was good, right? I, I give it to you. Yeah, no, I wanted to, to argue against it because of my particular uh, sensitivities to spelling and words and what they mean out there in the world. But he sold it. And that's what you got to do. You got to, you get, you can't give up. You got to sell it. So he moved four spaces. Well done, Hortman. Well, thank you, sir. The next card, you finally get a trivia question. Wow. Okay. You finally get a trivia question, but it is also another one of those keep card or pass and pull again cards. So you could pass it on to him or keep it. I would really like to have a trivia question. I'm going to hit you with it. Uh, when it comes to this beverage, an aroma similar to cat pee is considered a good thing. What? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah. What beverage do you think that is? In cat pee? I mean, it's one of those things. Oh, I smell a little cat pee. And that's not bad. I mean, I smell, I smell some cat pee. That's stink, man. I don't know if you're going to drink any of smells that bad. Bro, there's know, nothing me... worse in the world than cat pee. But it, that's the funny thing about this beverage is that even that can be considered a good thing when you smell it in it. What's your What's your guess? What's your first guess? Cat pee. No, it's not cat pee. It smells like no, no. <laughs> yeah. this, drink, this drink is not cat pee. It's it can have an aroma, an aroma similar to cat pee, is considered a good thing. All right, we're moving on to hint number two. Yeah, please, please. I'm mean, hint number one, not hint number two. Well, yeah, I mean, right? hint, hint number one for two spaces move. If you complain right. about cat pee, you might say you blank too much. If you complain about cat pee, you blank too much. Blank too much. Yeah, what could be replaced? What, what, what complain? Could be, yeah. Wine. You wine too much. Wine? Wine, sir. Wine. This wine that smells like cat piss. Now, do you want if now remember you need one space moved? Okay. So is your is that your answer, or do you want to hear a no, no, not at all. Okay, your hint number two. I'm supposed to get better with age, but I'm just getting older. Wine. <laughs> wine it is. He said wine the first time. He did, didn't he? Yeah. 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 See, it's some it's. There's some tomfoolery going on around yeah, here. No, no, yeah, you know? no. I mean, that's I didn't know how to approach that because I'm a rookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at this. So, so. <laughs> I can't I don't think I can actually give that to him. So there's two spaces. Yeah, so he so he because I did tell you guys to to focus on strategy at the beginning of the game. 
You absolutely did. And I said, you have to be going for one space. And I said that this hint was for two spaces very clearly. I don't think I can give that to you, Joe. And he answered it correctly. He did so answer it correctly. two spaces. Yeah. Therefore, which disqualifies him so he should have moving one space. Right. So he should have been paying attention to say, oh, let me hear it. And if I know it, I can just say, oh, I don't know. Give me the next one. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on knowing it and getting a two-space move, but you needed one. How many spaces do I need? You, you both need one. You're right on top of each other. The third hint was a famous, okay. famous non-white dude is said to have converted regular-ass water into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I shot myself in the shit on that one. Yeah, no, and, I, and it's good for us to get to this point where I, what it is, is in the future, people are going to know, oh, I need to pay attention to that. So you yep. guys are guinea pigs. All right. Thank so you. Let's pull a card for Hortman. You got a roll of the dice equal to the spaces move. So let's see what your number is. Your number is three, six, one. You're trying to hit a one. So you either want to be within uh, 300 uh, between 200 and 300 or one of the numbers and we are rolling now you got 433 so i got one of the numbers yep that's one of the numbers and so i'll move one space 433 is also one so you won both ways so okay so technically i win right Te technically and officially okay. All right i won i know i was gonna win but now what i would say <laughs> is that yes, once somebody yeah get to that point that there's a final question of something. Which point? In the winner's circle. Why, to confirm your win? Yeah, you're right. I already won. I knew I was going to win. I knew I was going to win the whole time. When we first sat down and started this game, <laughs> I said I was going to win. Hey, even Ron, though, let, let the record reflect. Let, let the record reflect, let it reflect that I actually won the game. You No. No, no. you won the, the, the trivia answer. Question. I did, I did. You're right. I won the trivia question. But you didn't win the whole game. No. And, you know, the real loser here is the listener who had to go through everything that I just put them through. And <laughs> and uh you two by default. Cause yeah, I got some I got some splaining to do, Lucy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think it was a learning experience. No, that's what it all that's what it game. all is. Every time that we play move the game forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time I play it. There's a little something that I learned, like the cards are too far away and the dice fly off. And <laughs> uh, I like it. Mm -hmm. No, good. It was a good game. I like it. So overall, it, when we don't focus too much on your host's shortcomings, you enjoyed yourselves? <laughs> I, I, hey, I did. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ple pleasure to meet my man. Uh I think the host, you brought a different element of it. You made me, uh, you know, it's, it's like you gotta, you, you're playing a game, but you know you got to keep your eye on the people in charge. Indeed. Like a couple, <laughs> oh, the first, the first game, they had to remind me, like I'd pull a play card for them, and they'd be like, no, no, I'm on the, the, the park. You're supposed to pull that. Like Clark Brooks, <laughs> Clark Brooks, uh, when he was on the, on the park uh, space, and I pulled a play card, he said, park card. And I thought he said Clark card, like he was celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> so I just completely ignored him and went ahead with the play card. And then after, and then I realized it. And I was like, oh, no, you were supposed to have this. And they, they both the players were like, dude, he said park card. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I definitely got uh, it's That's why I say you're playing a game against each other, against Lady Luck and me. <laughs> Because I am definitely uh, yes. a, a part of the equation. Um, well, thank you both for being on the show. I want to remind Ron and everyone listening that they should definitely try the Niati Flan. You can get it shipped to you, I think, anywhere in the United States. Anywhere in the world, as a matter of fact. Anywhere in the world. Wow. Yeah, no, he's, yep, de he's got a great operation, and, and it's a great product, and uh, it's just a matter of time before it's found everywhere. Um, but that requires everybody trying it sharing the news also check out ron hortman at ronhortman.com that's r-a-h-n hortman.com and uh you can see his book there what's the name of the book uh daily dose for relationships 
I, I helped publish it, so I should have remembered that. And absolutely, uh, I totally was like drawing a blank there. I could have also written it down. But his his new podcast, which he's this this is one of the busiest guys out there, so it's very hard to uh, lock him down for the game to find an open space of time, and also very hard for him to get in front of the microphone. But when he does, it's fun, it's hilarious, it's poignant. He's got a lot to say because he's lived up one wild life, always into something. Uh, check it out on his podcast. Uh, Struggle is real. Uh, Ron and Joe, thanks again for playing. Thanks again to the listener shoving the show in your ear holes. Hasta la próxima. Oye, más chips.